Shifting our focus to a different story now, the Trump administration says North Korea's claim the U.S. declared war is absurd and emphasized Washington still seeking a peaceful means to resolve the issue. Meanwhile, the regime's foreign minister said President Trump's harsh words gave it the right to shoot down American planes. Connie Kim zooms in on the two sides' ongoing heated exchanges. The verbal exchange between the U.S. and North Korea has reached a new high, with North Korea's foreign minister accusing U.S. President Donald Trump of declaring war on the regime during a rare press conference in New York on Monday local time. Trump ultimately declared war on us last weekend by claiming again that our leadership won't be around much longer. Given that this comes from an incumbent American president, this is clearly a declaration of war. Lee Yong hos statement took aim at Trump's tweet message that came following his speech at the U.N. The North Korean diplomat also warned of taking countermeasures coming on the heels of Washington's disclosure that its B-1B bombers flew just off North Korea's coast. Since the U.S. has clearly declared war on us, we have every right to take countermeasures. That includes the right to shoot down their strategic bombers at a time of our discretion, even if they're not in our airspace. We will see then who lasts longer. Washington hit back, dismissing the claims as absurd. We've not declared war on North Korea, uh, and frankly, the suggestion of that is absurd. It's never appropriate for a country to shoot down another country's aircraft when it's over international waters. Our goal is still the same. We continue to seek the peaceful denuclearization of the Korean Peninsula. The ongoing war of words does not seem to be reaching a conclusion anytime soon, and concerns are rising of additional provocations by North Korea. In that regard, I would say that uh, North Korea is probably uh, thinking carefully about what next step to take. North Korea will have to calibrate very carefully, not to uh, overstep the red line that could be uh, bring uh, invite uh, United American retaliation against North Korea. Some experts are pointing at a possible test launch of an ICBM as Pyongyang's next provocation. But whether the regime will go as far as detonating a nuclear-tipped missile over the Pacific Ocean, an option at least that Kim Jong-un was considering, is yet to be seen as a possibility, for the stakes may be too high for the reclusive regime. Connie Kim, Arirang News.